There's no such thing as a perfect vMix system, but over the last five years, Switchblade Systems has been steadily evolving its portfolio of live production systems, starting with the Splice, and then back there you can see the Turbo Portable. Up front here you can see the LPU-1 and the LPU-3 and the other rack-mountable products. And today, introducing the Switchblade M9 as close to perfect as you can get in a live production system when you consider perfect being something cost-effective, portable, and powerful. So let's take a closer look at some of the things that make it great. The unit overall is a compact tower. It has a nice handle on top, making it easy to drag it from venue to venue. And then on the back here, we have a couple of connectors. We've got USB 2.0 for keyboards and mice. These motherboard video slots are blocked off because we're using the GPU down here. We have a few USB 3 slots, um, 3.1 and 3.2. These are for webcams, or in this case, I've got a USB splitter in there. And then we have a USB-C slot as well. The Ethernet is 2.5 gig, making it nice and quick for full NDI networks. And then we have uh, Wi-Fi, making it easy to get into a venue and connect to the local network. Um, some 3.5 mil audio, and then down here is the GPU. We have our program monitor running out via DisplayPort, and then we have our UI monitor running out via HDMI, and then there's an additional two monitors that we can add another UI, and then we can add a, a preview or a multi-view. Next slot down is the optional audio. This is quarter-inch analog audio in and out. And then this slot here is for either SDI or HDMI. In this case, we've got four 3G uh, SDIs in it, but we could just as easily have four HDMI. And then the bottom is an option slot for an additional four SDI, giving us a total of eight SDI or four HDMI and four SDI. The M9 can be purchased all by itself and used with your existing hardware and gear or other uh, equipment that you so choose, or it can be purchased bundled with PTZ cameras and control surfaces and other items that might help you complete your production. Let me start off with the things that are most likely to be bundled with it, which are the PTZ cameras and the control surface. These are two uh, NDI HX PTZ cameras. They can be connected via SDI, HDMI, or NDI. They are PoE powered, so it makes them the perfect complement. And we can control them from vMix or we can control them from a control surface. The vMix control surface that is optionally included with uh, an M9 as a bundle is what we call an AirFly. And it has two rows uh, to allow you to switch between program and preview, making it really easy to switch what you see on the screen and then transition to it. So it's a really easy way of operating it. It makes it more friendly for a volunteer operator to just come in and press some buttons rather than operating the vMix software using a mouse. The other cool things that might go well with an M9 are a PoE router like this one from PoE Texas. This is a 16 port, but they're also available in 8 and 24. And then we also have NDI encoders. These are full NDI encoders with both SDI and HDMI on them for bringing in other equipment that doesn't have NDI integration on it, but needs to come over a network. Working with vMix is remarkably easy. Whether you're working on screen using the mouse to select what different camera inputs and titles will be going into preview and then transitioning them to program, or if you're using something like a control surface where you can select what is going to go into preview using the buttons there and then transitioning using the transition button, it's very easy to operate. And to go through a couple of the different things that you're seeing on screen. Let me add in a title. Uh, I'm gonna preview this title. This is one that I've added from the list of titles here in vMix's titling facility. And to preview it, I'm just gonna put it into preview here. And if I want to change it from Eric Pratt to something else, let's go into the title editor and I'm just going to make it Aaron Sherman. And then we need to change 
well, he is also U.S. broadcast, but let's call it uh, sales engineer. Even though that's not strictly his title. And then I'm going to add that preset. Now, when I go back here, I can select between two different options, Eric Pratt or Aaron Sherman. And I can preview that so I can see, oh, it's Aaron Sherman. But let's say I forgot it uh, and got it wrong. I can just switch it over to Eric Pratt. And when I transition it in, it comes in with my, th my title. We can also do things like crawls. So if I wanted to bring up a role that has a lot of different pieces of text in it, so we could just paste that in and we can have several different kinds of texts lined up to play back into the overlay. And we can also nest overlays and make them work together. So if I wanted to put my title over this, which is not something I'm likely to want to do, but the capability of layering multiple graphics together is actually very easy. To the right here, we have our audio. I have um, just a regular microphone um, plugged into a, the system, but I also have NDI audio and SDI audio and all these other things, and we, have, uh, we can create submixes. But in general, I just have one audio source, and that's going to my master, which also happens to be my recording. This is also what would be going out to streaming. To take a quick peek at what streaming looks like, that's in this setting here. And we can come in here and we can select from a wide number of different sources like Facebook and YouTube and a number of other options for CDNs. And we can stream to three different destinations at the same time. We can also record. Uh, recording is currently active because I'm recording what you're seeing using the M9 and vMix. There are a lot of other features that are available in vMix and there's some very good content on how to learn how to operate vMix uh, very simply to either do your meetings or sermons or classes, whatever it is that you're looking to produce video for that is totally capable of being learned in a very short period of time because vMix is easy to learn. The M9 running vMix strikes a perfect balance between cost, ease of use, power, and portability. Perhaps if you need something like that, then the M9 is perfect for you. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach us at usbroadcast.co. Once again, my name is Eric Pratt, and thanks for watching.